What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash here, welcome back to the channel. Now before we get into today's very intriguing video, guys, we are 24 subs away from 200. We are getting there guys, we are getting closer and closer to the goal of 200. Maybe we might reach 200 subs before the summer comes, comes to a close. Let's see if we can make that happen. Let's see, ooh, excuse me. Let's see if we can make that happen because as I have said in previous videos, if this channel gets to 200 subs, I will open up this Korean Strike of Neo's booster box in its entirety on the channel on the hopes of potentially pull this guy, Elemental Hero Air Neo's, the so-called Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. Is it really forbidden? I'll let you be the judge of that. If this channel gets to 500 subs, I will open up this Korean LOB booster box in its entirety on, on the channel that I got from my partners over at Collector Store. So be sure to check them out. Link and address will be in the description below. By checking them out, not only does it support them, it also supports the channel. And I would greatly appreciate it. On the hopes to potentially pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon, a Dark Magician, a Red Eyes Black Dragon, a Pot of Greed, a Piece of Exodia, the possibilities are out there. However, if this channel gets to 1,000 subs, I will open up this this first edition Toon Chaos box in its entirety on the channel that I also got from my partners at Collector Store on the hopes of potentially pull my second ever Collector's Rare because if you guys missed out on my Genesis Impact box opening that I did about a couple months ago, I pulled this, a collector's rare beat cop from, from the underworld. It is absolutely beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Not the most expensive collector's rare, but it's still pretty valuable, especially when it's graded. So I will be getting it graded at some point. I don't know when exactly, but I will be getting it graded. So if you guys want to see these boxes get opened, maybe you guys, if you guys want to see those boxes get opened, Maybe you guys want 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 more episodes of WWE's Biggest Issue. Maybe you, maybe you guys want more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh's Biggest Issue. Deck profiles, cart discussions, WWE topic videos, or maybe or maybe you guys want some premium live, live events, predictions, and results. Well, if you guys want all of that and more, my channel is the place to be. So if you guys have not done so already, be sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, follow. Smash that thumbs up button on this video and be sure to follow me on all of my social media. My ads will be in the description below as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And I want you guys to post in the comments below answering the question of the day, which is this. What would you consider to be the ultimate dream match? Because for today's video, I'm going to be talking about a potential match that might actually take place. But the question becomes, are we going to see Will Ospreay in WWE? That is the big question that we're going to answer in today's video because apparently he believes that he and the world heavyweight champion Seth freaking Rollins is, could make some magic. I mean, to be fair... I mean, it's kind of possible, but who knows? Who knows? However, however, this would be, again, th this will be a pretty, a, a really, like, this right here, in, in my opinion, is an awesome dream match. And apparently Will Ospreay believes that he and Rollins could make some magic together should they meet should they at some point lock horns in the squared circle now now he he actually was a part of he, he actually made an appearance on insight with chris van ville big shout out no copyrights as always he was asked about who would be his ideal forbidden door opponent now obviously now obviously you guys know for those who do watch AEW, um, 
and from what I've seen on social media anyway, apparently Will Ospreay has been working with, has been working for, you know, he works in, on, a, on, on AEW, and, um, And from what I've seen, from what I've seen on social media, they they they, they, had this, they had this like big like premium live event called Forbidden Door, which apparently it it pins AEW uh uh got the the guys from AEW pinning pin, pinning being pinned against um against the stars from New Japan Pro Wrestling, which is pretty crazy. Um when he prompted, when, so when he prompted that Rollins could be the opponent, could could be could be his opponent, Osprey said, and I quote, "I think it's got to be Seth. After the little Twitter thing, we've got, we've got to. It would be fun, and he's so over right now. You see the crowd singing his song and everything. It's mad, especially from what he was getting when we had our little thing. That." That was a mixture of bad booking and everything along along those lines at that time. Now it's crazy. It's mad. Um, he even asked about about whether or about whether or not he would bring Rollins up another level, and he even praised <clears throat> Rollins e even further by saying, "Quote: I would hope so. Iron sharpens iron. He's so sick." I just feel like, yeah, together we could 100% make some magic. So, the thing is, is that, um, so, for those who don't know, don't know, WWE has had, has opened up, up the Forbidden Door several times in the past. And I'm talking about, and I'm, I'm, I'm not just talking about allowing, you know, stars from, from, from Impact Wrestling come back to WWE, you know, for, you know, just, you know, you know, just for, for one night only. I'm also talking about, about WCW, ECW, you know, back, you know, back in the day, you know, ECW had invaded Monday Night Raw at, at, at one point, you know, and then, obviously, WWE invaded ECW's territory as well, which was, which was pretty sick. But not only that, we also had the invasion as well of WCW. So obviously that was like like the first iteration of the Forbidden Door, if you will. And um Sorry, sorry guys, if you guys hear like weird noises um in, in the background, that's my silly fan, it's been acting weird. Um anyway. Anyway, um Apparently, apparently, uh, as far as like the as far as the little Twitter thing, um, Osprey was actually actually referring to the beef that they had back in 2019, <clears throat> where where it involved Rollins proclaiming WWE as having the best pro wrestling action on the planet. To to which Osprey took umbrage of that statement and just went off, just went. Off on on Twitter, and uh, and here's here's what I find in, here's what I find interesting. The question becomes: Could could Will Osprey get signed with WWE? Absolutely. <coughs> Excuse me. Absolutely, it is one hundred percent possible that Osprey could be could sign could sign with WWE at some point. Um. You know, because because the ironic thing is that Rollins, he's been on 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 the main roster for literally ten years. Think about that, ten years. And it was like it was like I want to say it was like right around this time, ten years, like ten, eleven years ago, where Seth Rollins pinned Jinder Mahal on NXT in the Gold Rush tournament to crown. To be to crown the to be crowned the first ever NXT champion, and the ironic thing is that is that with Rollins, 
We all know of Seth's, of Seth's accomplishments, but what about Will Ospreay? What about his accomplishments? Well, let's take a look. Will Ospreay, here we are. Here we are. Now, unfortunately, for those who are curious about Will Ospreay, apparently he's dealing with a shoulder injury, so it's possible we could see him in WWE at some point, but we don't really... No. Let's see. All right, championships and, and accomplishments. Future pro wrestling tag team champion with Paul Robinson. Uh, tag team championship tournament 2014. Inside the Ropes magazine ranked number 10 of the top 50 wrestlers in the world in the ITR 50 in 2020. Lucha, Lucha Britannia World Championship twice. Melbourne City Wrestling Inter, Inter Commonwealth Championship. That's quite the mouthful. One time, anyway. Former IWGP World Champion. Former IWGP US Champion. Former three-time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. One time, never openweight champion title uh, championship which I believe which I believe it's supposed to stand for for New Blood Evolution Valiantly Eternal Eternal and Radical that's pretty cool uh, New Japan Cup 2021 Best of the Super Juniors 2016 and 2019 which I believe is a tournament yeah it's supposed to be a tournament um, one Pro Wrestling World Champion, the the current champion actually, uh, PCW won to watch in 2015 end of the end of the year war, Preston City Wrestling 2014, Progress Championship one time, Progress Tag Team Titles with Paul Robinson one time, Super Strong Style 16 2015, th that's actually kind of funny, Thunder Bad. <laughs> Thunder Bastard 2014. That is hilarious. Thunder Bastard? What in the hell? Like, what? Thunder Bastard. Think about that, guys. Think about that. Quite the name, right? Quite the name. Pro Wrestling Australia Heavyweight Champion. Pro Wrestling Illustrated ranked number 7 of the top 500 singles wrestlers in the PWI 500 in 2021. Reloaded Championship Wrestling Alliance Elite 1 Championship. Revolution Pro Wrestling Undisputed British Heavyweight Champion. British Cruiserweight Champion twice. Undisputed British Tag Team Champion, champion with Paul Robinson. Second Triple Crown Champion. Ring of Honor World Television Champion. Best movie, sorry, best move of the year 2017, the Oz Cutter? Oz Cutter? I believe that's how it's pronounced. SoCal Uncensored. Match of the year 2016 with Matt Seidel and Ricochet against Adam Cole and the Young Bucks. I guess Nick and Matt Jackson on September 3rd. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Southside Wrestling Entertainment. Speed King Championship twice. Sports I Illustrated ranked number 6 of the top 10 men's wrestlers in 2018. Ranked number 5 of the top 10 wrestlers in 2022. Tokyo Sports Best Bout Award 2016. Sorry, 2022. Against Kazuchika Okada on August 18th. Warrior Wrestling Championship one time. What culture... Pro Wrestling or Defiant Wrestling Tag Team Champion with Scotty Wainwright, which I believe what that's what maybe Scotty Too Hotty maybe I don't know. Uh, Defiant Wrestling Award for Match of the Year 2017 against Drew McIntyre on March 6th. Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Best Flying Wrestler 2016 to 2019, 
Best Wrestling Maneuver 2019, The Stormbreaker. Best Wrestling Maneuver 2022, Hidden Blade. Europe MVP 2021 and 2022. Non-Heavyweight MVP 2018-2019. Most Outstanding Wrestler 2019 and 2022. Pro Wrestling Match of the Year 2019 against Shingo Takagi. Takagi. On June 5th at Best of the Super Junior Finals. Pro Wrestling Match of the Year 2022 against Kazuchika Okada. On August 18th at the G1 Climax 32 Finals. And then the other titles would be the British Triangle Championship with Paul Robinson and Scott Wainwright. Think about that, guys. Think of all those accomplishments. That right, If that right there doesn't prove that Will Ospreay deserves to be in, in WWE, I don't know what will. I don't know what, what will. But you think about that, right? You think about that, and you even think, think about Seth Rollins, right? Think about what, what Seth's, Seth Rollins... Has also done in in WWE. Think about think about his accomplishments, right? Give me one second. Here we are. Championship and ch championships and 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 accomplishments. Absolute intense wrestling. I AIW intense championship one time. AAW All American Wrestling Heavyweight Champion twice. Tag Team Championship twice, one, one with Merrick Brave and one with Jimmy Jacobs, who I believe... is now known as Christopher Scott Scoville? I, I believe? I don't know. FCW Florida Championship Wrestling have Heavyweight Champion, Jack Briscoe 15 Championship... Tag team titles with with Richie Steamboat, which I be, who I believe is actually Ricky Steamboat's kid, I believe. I'm pretty sure it is actually kind of kind of crazy. Jack Briscoe Classic 2011, first FCW Grand Slam champion, full Impact Pro, FIP World Champion. IWA, Independent Wrestling Association, Mid-South, Light Heavyweight Champion, Mr. Chainsaw Productions Wrestling, MCPW World Champion, NWA, Midwest Tag Team Champion with Merrick Brave, New York Post, Match of the Year 2022 against Cody Rhodes at Hell in a Cell. Think about that, guys. Think about that one. <clears throat> Pro Wrestling Gorilla World Tag Team Champion with Jimmy Jacobs. Pro Wrestling, Il Pro Wrestling Illustrated, Feud of the Year 2014 against D Dean Ambrose, or I guess now John Moxley, I think? I don't know. Most Hated Wrestler of the Year 2015 and 2020. 2015, uh, it, I, can, I, I, can, I can understand why. 2020, probably the most obvious reason, uh, Messiah much? Yeah, we all know. We all know what Seth did back in 2020. We all... We all remember. Tag Team of the Year 2013 with Roman Reigns. I believe The Shield. Yeah, 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 The Shield. Wrestler of the Year 2015. Ranked number one. Think about that, guys. Ranked number one of the top 500 single res singles wrestlers in the PWI 500 in 2015 and 2019. Ring of Honor World Champion. Two-time Ring, Ring, Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champion with Jimmy Jacobs. World Championship Number One Contenders Tournament in 2008. And, and the World Tag Team Title Tournament in 2008. Which that one featured Jimmy Jacobs. Survival of the Fittest 2009. Rolling Stone Best Briefly Resuscitated. Storyline, 2015 against Dean Ambrose. I'll probably butcher that word, obviously. Most puzzling new finisher, 2015, which is obviously obviously the pedigree. <clears throat> most smooth, most smothered in-ring potential, 2014. Ranked number 9 of the top 10 best WWE wrestlers in 2016. Sports Ill Illustrated, ranked number 3 of the top 10 men's wrestlers in 2018. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, Wrestler of the Year 2022, 
Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Tag Team of the Year 2013 with, with Roman Reigns. Worst Feud of the Year 2013 as part of the Authority Against the Big Show. Worst Feud of the Year 2019 against The Fiend Bray Wyatt. And Worst Match of the Year 2019 against The Fiend Bray Wyatt at Hell in a Cell. And then you look at WWE, right? Look at everything he has done in in WWE. Two-time WWE Champion, the current and the inaugural World Heavyweight Champion, two-time Universal Champion, form the first ever NXT Champion. Excuse me. Two-time Intercontinental Champion, two-time United States Champion. Six-time Raw Tag Team Champion, one with Roman Reigns, two with Dean Ambrose, one with Jason Jordan, one with Braun Strowman, and one with Buddy Murphy, if you guys remember Murphy from back in the day. 2014 Money in the Bank winner, 2019 Men's Royal Royal Rumble winner, World Heavyweight Championship Tournament, again, again win, winning the tournament at Night of Champions a month ago to become World Champion. 2012 Gold Rush Tournament to become the first ever NXT Champion. 29th Triple Crowd Champion. The 11th Grand Slam Champion under the current format. 19th overall. <clears throat> Second two-time Grand Slam Champion. And then nine-time Slammy Award winner for Anti-Gravity Moment of the Year 2014. Diving off the balcony at Payback. Breakout Star of the Year 2013 with the with the rest of the Shield. Double Cross of the Year 2014, betraying the Shield and joining the Authority. Faction of the Year 2013 and 2014 with the Shield. Fan participation, you sold out. We all know that one. Match of the Year 2014 against, which was him being a part of Team Team Authority. Taking on Team Cena at, at Survivor Series. That was where we saw um, saw saw the WWE debut of Sting, actually. It was kind of crazy. <clears throat> Trending now. Hashtag of the year 2013. Thir hashtag Believe in the Shield. And then, of course, the year-end awards... The WWE Year End Awards for Best Reunion 2018 as part of The Shield. Bumpy Award for Best Dress of the Half Year 2021 with Sonya Deville. Think about that, guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 2013, 2014 Faction of the Year. 9, 10, 10, 11. 11 awards in WWE. If that right there doesn't prove that Seth... That we need to, that we don't, if that doesn't prove that we need Will Ospreay versus Seth freaking Rollins, I don't know what, what will. Think about those accomplishments between Will Ospreay and Seth freaking Rollins. All I'm saying <clears throat> is that if we get Will Ospreay in, in, in WWE, whether, you know, you know, whether he's on Raw, SmackDown, NXT or whatever, we need this match. Because will because because I because I had a glimpse of Will Osprey's work on social media, and the dude is good. He he's good. He he knows that squared circle inside and out. But so does Seth freaking Rollins. They are both world travel athletes, world class athletes. They've won championships. More times over than anybody than almost anyone else in 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 the world. I think we could potentially see that happen. It could happen, but but it's gonna be in interesting because apparently because in his latest in interview he said that that he's a real home guy and that he wouldn't currently be interested in WWE due to due to the fact that he would have to move to to the US <clears throat> if he if if he were to get signed with WWE because i believe now Osprey is currently living in Japan 
Japan, if I remember correctly? Is he currently residing in, in Japan? Or, or is he living in... Or is he li living somewhere else? Um... I don't know. I think I I think he still lives in the UK, but um But uh what I find even more interesting about Will Osprey again, again, it wouldn't would it be I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know. This matchup would be a bit of an in, would be in would be interesting. But again, but I w I will say this to close out this video. I'll say this. Um, if we if we get if we get if we get this match, I can guarantee you, there is going to be fireworks. The roof is gonna blow up. Any arena that that it takes place in, the roof is gonna blow the fuck up. So. Will it happen? Only time will tell in the foreseeable future. But again, guys, this will bring me back to the question of the day, which is this. <clears throat> Excuse me. What would you consider to be the ultimate dream match? Let me know down in, in the comments below, and that will do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more WWE topic videos in the future, Make sure you guys subscribe, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and follow me on all of my social media. My ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.